Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into the Performance Lab. Don't forget to subscribe below to the right for updates to new videos and a huge announcement coming up. Enjoy. All right, what's up everyone? Morty Carson here from the Performance Lab of California. And really quickly today, we're gonna go over a few of the common mistakes that I see within starts. I'm gonna go through a couple of starts here and you know show you what are some of the common things that, that I see when going in and actually doing it. So the first big thing that I'd say is, you know, common mistake, and, and it depends on if you're you know, doing the blocks and, and doing a more traditional start, obviously. But um, when, you're, when you're pushing off, a lot of times what I see is that this first step ends up being too high, right? You're going, and, and by getting that first step a little bit too high, not really thinking about going too far out, what ends up happening is that you really end up raising up in the spine. So if I'm here and I have to get a little bit too high there, um, and, and it makes it so my hips end up popping up, that ends up actually being a negative thing in terms of you know being able to, to really get things going uh, from a, a power perspective. A lot of times, you know, there, there's a few different reasons why you know, you're gonna end up having a, a problem within that, that first step, but if it ends up getting too high, what ends up happening is that if you go and, and press your straight down the ground and you, and you have your heel too far forward or, or too far into the ground, now it's gonna impact your overall turnover. So when you're taking that first step, you wanna get that drive and really try to stay on the balls of your feet the best that you can, rather than letting your heel get too close. Next big thing is being able to actually get triple extension within this back leg. So, you know, when you're starting and you press off, you want to be able to, you know, for me, it's my, my left leg here. I'll go face the other way. Um, you want to be able to really maximize that, that triple extension within that back leg. Okay, so you know, a lot of people that when they go and they push off, they really don't end up getting that first, that first full triple extension, really full, being able to maximize the, the full range of motion there, which is going to make it so you're not pushing off as well. Right, so if you're here and you go and go to this and you only get a limited amount of flexion within the knee, now that's gonna make it so you're not able to generate as much force as when you really push off and get into that triple extension, okay? Another big thing I see, and, and this one you probably combine into one, is getting the hips too high or getting the back too high. So when you're starting, you wanna be able to keep, you know, really you wanna be driving forward and get that knee up in a position that makes it so your hips are gonna be able to stay below your shoulders for sure, um, but they, they want to be able to stay overall in a low position. They don't want to end up, you know, raising up too much. Okay, so what ends up happening is that you can see people when they start, they'll have their hips in this position, and then when they start, they go here, right? They get straight up with the hips, and they keep their spine down, so they're like this, right? And they just try to lift up the spine. It's not effective, right? You want to be able to keep your hips down, keep your spine in a good position, and get driving from there. Okay, if, you don't, if, you don't end up, if you end up popping up too much in the hips at the beginning, you're not going to be able to maximize your force, right? And this is going to make it so if you're here and you go up, now you're going to end up getting too vertical too quickly. Next big thing is like it's around the same problem as if you're trying to overdo keeping your hips low and you just pop up in your spine, right? That's an obvious one. You don't want to end up popping up in your spine. You want to be able to keep your spine in a forward position as you start being able to maintain your spine in, in a little bit more of an extended spot as well and you know still being able to keep your hips low. Your, your hips should be below your shoulders right as you're pushing off. You want to be able to keep everything in a good alignment in order to really maximize your start. So there's four main things right there that can help you out. I mean there's obviously things that go into the arm swing um, and different little things within range of motions within the ankles and things like that uh, but I think those are some of the co most common errors that I see within the start that you can improve on. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions. Check out our speed program. We have a lot of cool things going on right now within the speed program. Just offered a whole new three month program. Really been able to help out a lot of guys with their mechanics and you know, looking forward to continuing to help people improve. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, you can subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get. Also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.